Friends, there's a, there's a wonderful thinker. His name is David Deutsch. He wrote The Fabric of Reality and he wrote The Beginning of Infinity. And he has a TED Talk that is a grand summation of his ideas, of his earth-shattering vision. It's called Chemical Scum That Dream of Distant Quasars. It's a shattering worldview. Increasingly, it has become in vogue to dismiss humanity as merely chemical scum. A pale blue dot suspended in a sunbeam. We are nothing. We are but a grain of sand in infinity. We are something to be dismissed. Nothing but chemical scum in a cosmos of such scale that it simply reduces us to the, a kind of cosmic ash of nothing. But David Deutsch, he has a different point of view on what we are. He calls us chemical scum that dream of distant quasars. And it is precisely our capacity to dream of different quasars that makes us different. But it starts not there. It starts actually with the following idea. In the early universe, everything we can see when we aim our space telescopes into the past, in the early universe, big things, dumb big things, affect little things. Stars affect planets and so on and so forth. Big dumb things affect small insignificant things. Except for us. See, life is different. The beginning of life was where suddenly little things could now affect big things. The beginning of life and what became photosynthesis meant that suddenly plants could change the surfaces and compositions of a planet. Small things could now change big things. The emergence of humanity, the harnessing of energy, increasingly sophisticated means to harness energy means that Small things like us can now affect big things. Nuclear power being but one example. Interstellar travel but yet another example. Mining asteroids. Nanotechnology. Increasingly, little things can affect big things. And the destiny of the universe inevitably is exponential technologies continue to compound and we can increasingly shape matter the world becomes subject to our willed intent. The cosmos becomes a programmable medium. It is a kind of omega point that Pierre de Chardin spoke about, or a technological singularity. The point is, and David Deutsch writes about this in the beginning of Infinity, is that if you look at the topography of a city, the topography of a city is shaped more by mind, creativity, and intentionality than by geology. The analogy is clear. Increasingly, mind the compositions, the chemical scum that makes up our mind can shape star systems. Little things can now shape big things. So the chemical scum, the dream of distant quasars, have a role to play in the universe. We can orchestrate the songs that sing the universe, as Marshall McLuhan wrote. And I think this is a very optimistic narrative because it invites us to look beyond what Edward O. Wilson described as our Paleolithic brains and our medieval laws, because we have, in fact, as he says, godlike technologies. And so the destiny of our species ultimately is to spawn infinity, an intelligence explosion, a creativity turning itself inside out, the imagination summoning its own literalization. This is the scale of impact in which David Deutsch invites us to participate in. What a reason to get out of bed in the morning, to become star makers, to become imagineers, to become star makers, to become imagineers. This is our interstellar destiny. The chemical scum, the dream of distant quasars. We're about to render ourselves whole and then render ourselves holy and impregnate the cosmos with mind. And impregnate the cosmos with mind. Thank you, David Deutsch, for your ambition. Thank you, you, for listening. Let us, let us do this, friend. Let us stand up for what is 
now possible. Let us have the cosmic ambition. Let us have the audacity for our imagination to summon its own literalization. This, friends, is what David Deutsch calls the beginning of infinity. <laughs>